Hey everybody, it's Blake and Ryan with Lily's Landing Resort and Marina. We're going to do the one cast for you today. It's uh, Friday, October the 29th. Thanks for that. Appreciate that. I remember the day. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's the day after my birthday. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, we're just below the Narrows, between the Narrows and Fall Creek really on this rock bank and then the Isle, Eagle Island here. Uh, it was supposed to quit raining at noon, but it's just kind of misting on us and the winds just changed directions. It was going south and now it's coming or was going north now it's coming out of the north south so it's it's picking up as we speak so we're both throwing uh 30 seconds out so i've got a scoping in peach blake's got a white with a red collar uh two pound see what we can do yeah buddy Peachy, peachy. Um, me and Blake threw a few times off the dock this morning, caught a couple on the... Let's, let's re-emphasize, Ryan caught a couple. Okay, I caught a couple. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> Little guys. They were midging quite a bit out in front of the dock. Have you heard any other reports? I haven't really. I really haven't heard anything today. We've got some some boats out this morning, but we'll get caught off the dock this morning. I'm assuming they were using night crawlers. I don't know if you can hear Blake or not. He said uh, there was a couple he saw get caught off the dock this morning, presumably off night crawlers or some type of bait. All right, there's nothing for a first cast. They are not running any water right now. Are they scheduled at all today? I uh, we haven't, we've been, probably not if, if any. Oh yeah, they're still coming for three hours. Three hours this afternoon. So it's still off right now. Yeah. There's somebody just caught one up there. Tapping yeah, tent. Got one hooked. Seen it flop. Oh, I think I missed one there. Or it was a rock. It's hard to say. Yeah, it counts a little bit. Felt good. Got me excited. It's pretty chilly today. I think we're high of what, 50, huh? My truck said 52 earlier. 52. I don't see it getting much warmer. Fish might have been better off the dock. Yeah, I think so. Well, it really wasn't too bad till we got up here. The wind seems like it's coming up this chute a little. Picked up a little on us. Definitely feels like pulling down. <laughs> Might have should have brought some bigger jigs. I got them. I know they like these smaller ones better, but it sure is hard to fish them with the wind like it is. I might here in a minute. Thank you. 
pulled up her glove. Almost. speed. <laughs> well, we've decided if we can't catch him, we're going to ramble. That's right. Chop him up. Guys that are out all day, day a little bit, a little bit loony. Okay, I'm switching. I don't care what you say. Big, box. big jigs and big box. I don't know, that makes too much sense. Could be getting a bite, not even feeling it. All right, I'm sticking with the same color, just eighth ounce. Mm, big dog. Yeah, big bait, big fish, as Dad always says.
Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. serious going on over there. What you got? 332nd scoping? Straight scoping? Yeah! That sounds like they're chasing somebody over there. <sighs> Big gusts. There's fish over there. Just aren't wanting what we got, are they? That one's all the way up next to the bank. Eagle. Coming out of Eagle Island. What? How's that happen? So that means there must be monkeys on Monkey Island. It's gotta be. Certainly they wouldn't land on the top of the We need to be casting around the bay. It's real shallow up there. I know, there's a fish over there. I know. It's like on the, the bay. Lots of, lots of seaweed. Seaweed over there. I'm close. But it's, you gotta fish it so fast. There, I think I just grabbed some grass yeah lots of seaweed over there seaweed Found some on the bottom, like a little scoping fish. See if they'll pick it up. There you go. I'll go high, you go low. <laughs> oh, oh, landed on that one. Oh, I don't know if that was a fish or a... I just hit one or if he was biting it. Nice. I was just working it like a little sculpin fish. <laughs> just dragging it on the bottom? Yeah, I was just, you know, scooting it from rock to rock, not even digging it up off the bottom. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Get in the net. Hey, look at my line. There are fish in this here, the water. Lots of snow geese flying over today. Yeah. Woo -hoo. 
We didn't get skunked. Gotta work it like a scope. He came back for it too. I felt he hit it once. I feel like I ought to be throwing a football jig fishing like that. Hey, if it works, I'm not going to argue. No. I'm with you. That's a good way to pick up a lot of moths. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, they are. You can trick them into thinking it's a little filthy fish right off the edge of the bank. But not the trick is getting it in front of the fish before it's covered in moss. <sighs> Make some weedless marabou jigs. <laughs> the problem is I don't think it helps. Mossless. Yeah, mossless. That's what we need. Cover it a lot. <laughs> I still don't think it would help. At that point, it's probably considered bait in the Is petroleum a flavor? Yeah. <laughs> it would definitely throw an oil trail. Yeah, for sure.
doesn't work nearly as good with one of these as it does with a sculpting streamer. The sculpting streamer seems to It's because it's built different. You know, these dig in when you're dragging them across the bottom. Those sculpting with the eyes separated, I think they scoot a little better. They don't have as much to grab. That makes sense. It's my take on it. Wood ducks. Did you hear them? Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, do I got him? He's a running. Oh, he's running so fast, I can't keep up with him. He's a runner. Woo! He ain't that big. No, but he's fighting good. He's feisty though. Why don't you do it? He's get out of that troll motor. Coming around. Ah, he's bigger than I thought. <laughs> how come they're how come they get called to the trolling motor it's like know. they know it'll cut them loose set me free head for the vortex I know, but I feel like they wouldn't touch it with all that moss. I mean, it's like the first bounce, it's full of moss. I guess you could. You have a little bit of moss, and it looks like a little silken fish going through this. Yeah. I still hit it. I guess it's just the movement more than anything. So, as we know, they eat moss. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I see it right over there climbing trees. Yo! Where did that go? Uh, Snag City is where that went. Come on! Come on! Come on! Ain't gonna do it. Yeah, burn it. That one went. The wind quit blowing it. Just <laughs> went all the way to the root wad. Two pounds Jake, two pounds Seth. Zinger. One more bike and we're even for this morning and you gotta quit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was just saving mine for the camera. Uh huh. I didn't want to waste them all this morning. We're comparing numbers though, not sizes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> if we do wait, we're, we can call it even and quit right now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the ones I was catching off the dock were not very big. Young and dumb, as they say. Ooh. Come back. All right. Going to black and yellow. I'm pretty sure it's yellow, but I didn't see a chartreuse, so I can't say. Or yellow. It's really no no way to know. Mist is picking up. Yeah, I might just let you have the victory today. Call it quits. I, oh my god. Uh, yeah, I, I I think I think we can call it a draw. Yeah. I'll just let you have the win. <laughs> right, last cast. I'm not worried about winning. Last cast. If I can stick one more by that eye. Seaweed or a rock. time thanks for watching see you tomorrow maybe it'll be a better weather day